Hey y'all, welcome back. Today we are going to prove that one equals two. I know what you're thinking. How can this be true? But often in mathematics, we run into unexpected results. Um, for example, did you know that 0.9 repeating equals one? And I'm not talking about being approximately equal, I mean exactly the same, as in there is no difference. In other words, I am claiming that one minus 0.9 repeating equals zero. To show this all we need to do is use some properties of equality. First, let's start with a statement that I think we can all agree with. One third equals 0.3 repeating. Now let's add one third to both sides using the addition property of equality. And again, see? We have now shown that one equals 0.9 repeating. How cool is that? Okay, let's get into what you're all here for, the proof that one equals two. First, let's assume that we have two numbers, x and y, that are equal. Then use the multiplication property of equality to multiply both sides by x. Next, we will use the addition property of equality to add x squared to both sides. Combining the like terms on the left gives us two times x squared. Now we can subtract two times x times y from both sides. Combining the xy terms on the right gives us x squared minus x times y. Now we can factor out the common factor from the left side. Note that we can factor out a one from the right side, even if at first glance, that only makes the expression look more complicated. Now, using the division property of equality, we can divide both sides by the expression x squared minus x times y. Um, and there we go. Using properties of equality, we have shown that one equals two. QED, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Ahem, Miss Swift. Are you really trying to claim that one equals two? Preposterous. Do you not remember our previous conversation when I said you needed to bring your A-game if you want to work here on Mr. Schuler's math video channel? Well, I'm sorry to say that this quote-unquote proof is more like an F-game or a D-game at best. On your last step, you tried to use the division property of equality but you failed to realize that you actually divided by zero, which is an illegal operation in mathematics. Since your initial assumption said that x equals y, then x squared minus x times y must equal zero. And we all know you cannot divide by zero. I'm sorry, Ms. Swift, but I am going to have to put you on an indefinite hiatus until you can come back with a video worthy of this YouTube channel. Well, I guess I'll just have to go work on some polynomial approximations. I would like to apologize on behalf of Ms. Swift to all the wonderful people who chose to watch this video with the intentions of improving their understanding of mathematics. Let this be a lesson to everyone that you should not blindly believe everything you see, even if it being presented by someone you respect. Question everything and make 100% sure whatever you believe makes sense to you. Thanks for watching and have a good day.